Hey guys, welcome to another video. Just wanted to do a quick video on something called uh, Windows 10 Deep Loader that I found online. Um, it is hosted on GitHub and uh, I will try to put a link in the uh, description below. So just want to do it real quick. So I downloaded it here. I have an older computer here and let me give you the specs on this bad boy. So this is a uh, HP ProBook 4720S, has a uh, first generation Intel Core i5 or a, maybe a mobile processor, 450 at 2.4 gigahertz. 4 gigs of RAM. It is running Windows 10, 18.03, and boy, let me tell you, this thing is slow. Uh, so I figured, why not try it on this, because this thing definitely could use a speed boost. So, I have an administrator uh, pr uh, Windows PowerShell open here, and then this opens up in Notepad, <clears throat> and let's see, yeah. So we'll just go here. Right click, select all, and then just copy. So control C, and then go to your, uh, your PowerShell, control V, and there's all the uh, prompts there, and we're just gonna hit enter. And I chose the GUI for this, so uh, once that pops up, you have all your options here. So you have your devolute options. So um, remove all, remove bloatware with blacklist, remove bloatware without blacklist, you can also revert the changes and fix the whitelisted apps. And you also have um, some optional changes. So you can disable Cortana, enable Cortana, uninstall OneDrive, disable your tele uh, telemetry and tasks, uh, remove bloatware reg keys, <clears throat> unpin tiles from start menu, and all that good stuff. This option here seems to do all of this. Uh, and you'll see that in the, uh, in the script as it goes. So let's go ahead and click this bad boy. And then let me move this over so you can kind of get an idea. Let's see, can I move it over? No. You can kind of see this stuff happening in the background. Let's see, oh, there we go. Okay, so here's uh, it going in the background here and it's just gonna go through and get rid of all this stuff. And if you look right here, you can see all the apps that it's getting rid of. One thing I might have uh, blacklisted would have been the uh, Windows DVD player, especially if you're coming from Windows 7 and you still use DVDs. Not that it's really necessary to have it, but you know, if you wanted something like Windows Media Player to continue playing your DVDs, you might want to keep that. Otherwise, you can use uh, VLC video uh, player, which is a, another great alternative and it has all the codecs and everything you need to watch videos. So I'll let this go here. And it's just crazy how much crap it's taking out. You know, you don't really think about how much junk comes on Windows 10. And uh, the version that I ran this on just a few minutes ago was um, the Education Edition. And it also had a bunch of just junk. And uh, I noticed it ran way, way, way better right after that. So it seems that just getting rid of all this junk and getting rid of uh, you know, all this background tasks and stuff makes it run as it should. So I mean, if you just watch this, you'll see, you know, Sound Recorder, Xbox, Zoom Video, wow. Solitaire Selection, Solitaire Collection, 3D Viewer, People, Print, Skype App, Wallet, Windows Alarms, Windows Maps, Bing Weather. Now obviously if you like these apps, you can blacklist whichever ones you want to keep. Um, but for something like this, for some, you know, an older computer that really doesn't have a lot of horsepower, <laughs> not that a computer has horsepower, but for something that's, you know, older and can't really handle Windows 10 as it comes out of the box, this is fantastic. So it's still running and you'll, and you'll probably see your start menu and stuff flicker a little bit uh, based on, you know, what it's doing. All right, so it's still going. 81 activities not shown. And when it's done, it actually has a little uh, pop-up at the bottom here. So this is actually showing what it's doing. Transcript started, output file. Uh, messaging, message starting sysprep fixes, adding register key to disable store automatic updates, stopping install service, setting install service startup to disabled, removing bloatware apps, and then once it's done it'll actually show you, it'll say completed down here below this list. 
And look at this, it's just still going. <clears throat> so look, it looks like it's removing some reg keys there. Now, obviously, don't expect miracles <laughs> from this. Um, if your computer's old and it's slow, it's not going to be much faster, you know, after this, but it should make a significant improvement on how much um, is running in the background um, on this. So, uh, you know, if you have an older computer and uh, one cheap way to make things run a little bit faster is, you know, putting an SSD in there. And if you check on Amazon, uh, a lot of times you'll find, you know, some good deals on SSDs and it's really not a very difficult process to change them out. All right, still, re still removing blowware apps. And I would have edited this, edited this on my computer, but my MacBook just decided to give me some issues today. Not today, yesterday. Uh, for some reason, it um, I have a dual boot, so I have you know Windows 10 as a, a boot camp partition, and I'm not sure if that caused the issue, but um, I kept getting the folder file folder with a question mark in it. So I'm gonna have to reformat it when I get home. I'm doing this uh, currently at work, so. I'm in one of uh, the realtor's offices here, and there's me, hello, but yeah, so, it's a lovely day outside, if you can see here. And I would, I don't, I, you know, the one thing I don't like about the iPhone camera is, you know how, like, you can change the camera on Snapchat and stuff? You can't, you can't change your camera on the on the back camera. You know, you would think they would give you an option in the main camera app to actually switch, but they don't, because that'd be really nice. Then I wouldn't have to do this, and I'd probably look terrible, but hey. So we're still going. Man, this, this thing is a, a very slow. Very, 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 very slow. We are still going. So, one thing that I noticed immediately <clears throat> after this was done was every app that was installed by default uh, disappeared. All of them disappeared. And then as you go through your start menu here, you'll notice a lot of just a very, look at this, it's very, very slim very slim down and I'm sure it's gonna run a, a hell of a lot better um, yeah you can tell see this thing is just slow slow as molasses here let's check our task manager and see how that's looking okay performance All right. That's it, and, and on this machine, the bottleneck is the disk. I mean, this is a, uh, it's a 500 gig, 5400 RPM disk, and any time you do anything on this thing, it, the disk goes to 100%. I really don't think that's Windows 10 fault. Windows, I don't think it's Windows fault, you know, but look at it, it's only, you know, popping up to 30%. But yeah, the disk usage is just ridiculous on this thing. It could be the drive. I'm thinking it is. But like I was saying, you know, you can put an SSD in one of these and it'll just uh, run like a dream. You know, especially if you want to, you know, let your computer go for a little bit longer. Man, this is taking a hot minute. Anyway, I think you kind of get the idea. I don't want to make, you know, I've already made this it's, it's about 10 minutes. Oh, here we go. All right. It's doing stuff. 
I am sorry this is a 10 minute video, but I hope you were entertained. And if you have an old computer, I'm sure you're used to things taking 10, 15 minutes to do. The other computer I have is a, an older computer, but it has an SSD and it runs pretty well and it took n not that much time to do. Wow, look at that. News, office lens, office OneNote, office Sway, OneConnect, people, print 3D, remote desktop. Ooh, yeah, so there are some apps I would say definitely blacklist if you use them. This one, like I said, this computer is used for only a couple of things. It's older, it just sits here. A lot of stuff. Xbox app. And honestly, when I when I look at this list, there's so many things I don't even know about. But I'm definitely gonna do this at home. There's a lot of stuff I don't need on my on my home computer either. Just look at that Zoom music, Zoom video. Welcome back to 2007. Oh, there's your Candy Crush. <clears throat> Facebook, Spotify, Minecraft, Royal Revolt, Sway. Oh, there we go. Removing the registry keys. And don't you love how they're named background tasks right here? Just this garbage running in the background. Performing operation, new property on target. So these are the new registry keys that they put on here. So disabling people icon and taskbar, turning off data collection, disabling live tiles, setting mixed reality portal value to zero, uh, stopping Cortana, stopping the feedback experience, disabling scheduled tasks, end region events. I'm not sure what it's doing there, so. But unpinning all the tiles from the start menu, And then it should be done. Mm, this is taking a minute. So yeah, this is one of those things you would definitely want to just, uh, yeah, you would just want to walk away from for a few minutes and let it do its things. But finished all tasks and it should say completed or something, maybe that is it. So let's see what our usage looks like now. Let me close some of this garbage. Golly. Oh, always wants to update stuff, Apple. You always want to update. Not today, buddy. Not today. Yeah, so Malwarebytes is now running in the background, but, you know, that's something that's, I think, is a necessary evil to have. And this thing, the disk, is just the, the pits for this thing. But yeah, the list has been thinned. It seems to be a little bit better here. And it did remove that one pin that I had on there, so I'll just go ahead and take that out. And then if you look here, you'll see... The list is very, very small now. So, I think that this is a fantastic script. Fantastic script. And all you need to do is 
when you go into your internet here. Goodness. Yeah, this thing is slow. We're gonna type in Windows 10 D bloater and there is the, uh, well, I guess we'll just do that. And there it is. So it's github.com slash S-Y-C-N-E-X slash Windows 10 D bloater. And uh, there are already videos on it, and uh, I'm sorry that I'm making another one, but, you know, hopefully my followers or subscribers like this. And, yeah. So you're just going to go down here and download it. And these are the files that it come with. So you've got a Windows 10 Deep Loader uh, PowerShell, and it has no, uh, no GUI on it. This one has a GUI, so that one, the one that I just used was this one. With the GUI, it just has a button. Click it and let it go. And, uh... Yeah, so you just download it, click or download. You can open it, or you can download it as a zip file, which is what I did. And uh, yeah, so just run that bad boy and see how it works for you. Thanks for watching, guys.